Hey there and welcome to another video. My name is Hugh and in this video I'm going to show you how to use TradingView as a visual trading journal. Now it's very important to have all the stats and all of that stuff uh, but it's also important to be able to see the charts and see where you made your decision and how it worked out. So that is what TradingView is fantastic for. Uh, now if you haven't seen TradingView before be sure to check out this video. I do a rundown on TradingView and if you don't have TradingView check out the link in the description below. Um, now let's get going. Okay, so the benefit of TradingView is that you can take these snapshots of your chart and then you can um, save those away for later and then you can go back to them while you're reviewing your trading journal and take a look at how the trade worked out, take a look at uh, what the chart looked like when you took the trade and then how it played out afterwards. So here's how to do that. So let's say that you're on this currency pair right now and you're going to take a trade long. So let's say that you're going to put the stop loss down here and then you're going to maybe target one of these levels up here. So I'm going to put in a long position here. You can do that by um, creating your own custom menu like I have, or you can get it from this menu item right there, long position, right? So you click on long position. Uh, you start here. This is where you open the trade. This is going to be the stop loss. So you put it down there. And then let's say that you put the uh, profit target up here. So uh, you have a risk to reward ratio of 1.03 um, and that's going to be your trade. So this is what you're going to save. So in order to do that, go to publish in the upper right corner, uh, publish idea, and then you can publish the idea. Um, so let's say long trade and this doesn't have to be uh, very detailed because this is only going to be for your reference only. So write down why you took the trade, um, what you thought about the trade, and uh, you can trade, trade info, you can put whatever you want there. Uh, be sure to outline why you took the trade and that will help you analyze later uh, if you had a good entry or not. And then you can select a category here if you want to, um, something like that. And this is only gonna be pr for private use, so don't worry about making it too detailed or too um, you know, it, it's only as detailed as you want to make it. So the next thing to look at is private. So hit that private button. Um, so you're going to keep a private trading journal unless you want all your trades published on the internet. Um, probably not a good idea most of the time because it creates pressure on you to look good or to perform well. So I would highly recommend doing private. You can do analysis if you want to. And then, um, uh, I would say analysis and then you can say if your bias was long or short. In this case, it's long and then hit the uh, publish private idea button. Now, if you want to add some tags to it that will make it easier to bring up later when you're reviewing your journal, I would highly recommend using a tag that has the name of the trading strategy you're using. Um, that's a great way to kind of sort through a lot of the uh, charts that you have published and see uh, the trading strategy and how it's working out. So once you do that, hit publish private idea. And once you do that, you can start to see this in your profile. So in order to do that, go into your um, charts and then hit uh, profile. So that can be found by clicking your link here and go to the profile. And then this is what you'll see in the profile. So you can scroll down and you can start to see your trades. Okay, so here's one example of something I published. Um, this is what the trade looked like when I, um, I thought I gave the idea out and then now you can hit this play button here and it will load the new bars and you can see how the trade worked out. So in this case, I entered here, I was targeting up here and I got stopped out. Okay. Here's another example where I was looking for a bounce off the trend line. So I have the trend line drawn here, looking for a short, looking for a two to one reward to risk ratio. And, uh, I'm going to hit play here to find out how that went. Okay, so in this case, I um, hit the profit target and it actually went quite a bit further. So I might want to think about maybe having a trailing stop or um, splitting up my entry so that part of it hits the profit target and the rest of it runs or something like that. So this is the type of thing that you can see when you use a trading view uh, journaling analysis. All right, so that's how you use TradingView as a visual trading journal. If you want to get TradingView, the link is in the description below. This is my favorite trading and charting platform because it is so easy to use and it is available in a browser. If you like that video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching.